Hi everyone, this is Susan at Cuposaurus, and today I'm just going to go over the foam that we include with our turners and just a suggested way of using that foam for our spindles and our turners. And as you see in front of you, you we have a variety of cups here. Uh, 20 ounce, a 20 skinny ounce, 30, we've got a water bottle, got a 40 ounce of wine, and we've got a kid's cup. And this is the foam that we include. Every turner will have a large piece of uh, white foam, a small piece of white foam, a colored piece of foam, and a half football, a coupler, and a spindle. And we'll also include a piece of shelf liner to um, get a little bit snugger fit for some of the um, different size cups. So I'm gonna start off with um, this uh, 10 ounce cup, kids cup, and I'm just gonna set it up here so you can see it better. Um, and I usually start just by seeing what what is a pretty good snug fit. And this one fits pretty good, so I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna take my spindle and we include a coupler with this spindle, and that's for a couple reasons. Number one is, if you have a bigger cup, you can use a spindle to just get a snugger fit on your foam, or the coupler to get a snugger fit on your phone, foam. But on this particular cup, we're gonna push it all the way through so that the foam won't, so that the foam won't come out. It, it sticks there. Now if you want the foam to get, be a snugger fit on the spindle, then you can go ahead and pull it up. Either way is fine, it doesn't really matter. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the, the spindle down first, then I'm gonna push the foam in as far as I can, and that's a pretty snug fit. I have to pull pretty hard. Now if it's not snug enough, I'm gonna pull the coupler down into the foam and then I'll push the whole thing down in and that just makes it a little bit snugger so you might like that better after a period of time your foam kind of um, gets ridges on it or gets crushed down so you can get a lot of life out of it just by using that coupler to get a tighter fit so there's a 10 ounce kids cup put that one over there Okay, so the other one that we can use the colored foam on is the wine glass. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to see how that fits in there. Fits pretty good. So for this one, I'm definitely not going to need the coupler in order to keep the foam on because it won't matter. It's going to go all the way down into the wide part of this, this um, wine tumbler anyway. So what I'm going to do for this one is I'm going to make it go all the way through so that the spindle isn't going to go down. The spindle will go down, but the foam will not. So I'll put that all the way down, then push the foam down as far as I can. Then if the spindle comes up, it's not gonna come all the way out. So your foam, your cup is not going to come off the end of your spindle. And that's how we do the, the wine tumbler. All right, the 20 ounce, the 20 ounce cup. This one, uh, it's, since it's wide all the way down, what I'm gonna do with this one is I'm gonna take my colored foam, doesn't matter if it's yellow or green, um, the manufacturers of this foam, sometimes it'll be just a little bit bigger around than other times. I don't know why. Same manufacturer, buy them from the same place, but for some reason sometimes they're just a little bit bigger. So what I'm going to do for this one is push it down as far as I can. And if you notice, so far we haven't used any of the white foam because we, these are narrower cups. Okay. Then I'm going to take my spindle. I'm going to put my coupler on it. And, and I'm not going to push the coupler all the way down to the bottom. I'm going to leave it inside the foam and that way it's going to be a tighter. So I'm just going to kind of judge how fat, how far down I push this and I'm not going to go, well, I went all the way to the bottom. So 
So you just have to try and judge, pull it out, and try and get it to about right in here, in this area, right before the end of your foam. And that way, around the bottom of the foam, it's just gonna widen a little bit and it won't fall off. So see, this is a really snug fit also. Just expands out the center of your foam to make it a little bit bigger. That's a 20 ounce Ozark cup. Okay, now on the 30 ounce, the 30 ounce is unique because it's small around the bottom, but wide around the top, and that's why we give you the white foam. The white foam fits pretty good in the top part and in the bottom part, the colored foam. So I'm gonna push that all the way down to the bottom without a spindle first. Now this spindle, as you can see, is about that long with a coupler on the end of it. It's about that long. So if I push this foam all the way to the bottom of the cup, when I put this spindle down there with the coupler, it's going to push out the foam at the bottom of the cup, which is what you want. However, we need to take the coupler off before we put the white foam on, then the coupler, then push it down in. And I'll push it all the way down as far as I can, but I'm going to just kind of feel it to make sure that it's still in the foam of the cup. And that's just going to expand that foam out a little bit towards the bottom. Then when you get done, you can just push this one down as far as you can. And that makes a real solid cup. Now, there is a, there is a gap here. And if you're uncomfortable with that gap, I understand. So what you can do, you can do two different things. You can take some bubble wrap and put it, tape that around there. Try that and fill up that gap if you'd like, if you're more comfortable with that. That also protects your foam a little bit too. If you get epoxy or anything, then you can you get your epoxy on the bubble wrap and not on the foam. Okay, so if you're if you're uncomfortable with a little bit of a gap with the white foam, use use a piece of bubble wrap. And when you buy your turner, there's lots of bubble wrap in there. Okay, so that one's pretty that one's pretty secure. Once again, that coupler is inside that foam down there and expands it a little bit, makes it a little bit tighter. Okay, now we have a 40 ounce. 40 ounce is even bigger around at the top, but the center is still pretty narrow. So I'm going to get a colored piece of foam for the bottom, like we did before. Push it all the way to the bottom. Then I'm going to get my, I'm going to put my my uh, foam on here but I'm guessing that most of you will like to use a piece of either shelf liner you can cut it you can cut it and put it around I'm just gonna I'm not gonna cut it because I'm gonna use this for something else put a piece of shelf liner in there or you can get two pieces of bubble wrap and put in there and once again you'll get a it's not real tight right now but you now well, let's go ahead let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead and cut this I'm just going to cut this in half shelf liner in half I'm going to figure out how much I need need a little bit more than that. So I'll roll it again. Now that's really tight. Okay, so I've got that all to fit. I'm going to put my coupler on here. Again, the coupler is going to go down inside the colored foam that's down there. 
And if I were going to leave this on there, I would tape this with, with my painter's tape. But I, I'm not going to leave this on. So put your coupler on. Put your coupler down into the foam first. Push it away. And now put, then push your white foam. Okay? And you can push that a little. Just don't go all the way with it. Make sure it stays in the foam. And that's a really tight fit. But you shouldn't have any problem with that. Okay? All right, and then we have a skinny, tum skinny 20 ounce. Uh, there's only a few different cups, uh, some wine glasses, um, there's some kids cups, um, there's some skinny tumblers that use this small uh, foam that we include. So for this scenario, we're gonna put the foam. If you have a really tall one, you could put two if you want, but really one is gonna hold it. Put a coupler on the end, and in this case, the coupler is gonna keep the foam, keep the spindle from coming out of the cup, okay? So you just put it down in, push the foam down as far as you can, it's a nice secure fit without anything else on these skinny ones. If you have a cup that has a little bit bigger diameter or somewhere in between the colored foam and this white foam, you can use the colored foam. Just wrap some bubble wrap or some shelf liner around it until you get the diameter that you want. But this cup is really, really secure too with the white foam. Okay. So then uh, we, we include a half football because a lot of people are used to the footballs and the football spindles. And the scenario for that really is any cup that this will fit into, but primarily the people that use the football are the ones that are doing these 30 ounce tumblers. In which case, instead of the white foam, you can use the football. Um, Put, put your spindle in the football first and it replaces the white foam. Then your coupler, remember we have foam in there, the colored foam that fits nicely this size on the bottom part of your 30 ounce. Stick that down in there, make sure it stays inside the foam and then press your football down in there. So if you're used to those footballs and you like working with them better, that's why we include a couple of those. Okay, so the final one that I want to show you is our Dino Dolly for the water bottles. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have a separate video on how to use the Dino Dolly with the football or uh, with the water bottles. Um, this particular one is... Oh gosh, I don't even know how many ounces this is, but it's a pretty pretty big one. You can see how tall it is. It's probably a 24 or 30 ounce water bottle. And the problem with a lot of a lot of this this water bottle is that it's heavy on the end and it has a narrow mouth, so you know you can't fit foam down in there. So what we have um, what we have made for our turners is. We use a small coupler with a, or a small spindle with a coupler. We put a little piece of packing or a little piece of shelf liner on it. Stick it down in there. Now for this mouth, this happens to fit our coupler with some um, shelf liner fits. Now, and that fits really tight and secure. However, you may have a, a mouth that has, that you'll have to use this part of the coupler. Or you may have one that just fits without any shelf liner in which you can just put it on there and tape it. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna just force this down in here. I will just caution you to be careful not to drop your coupler down into the water bottle. That would not be good. You would have a very hard time getting it out. So if you're gonna use the coupler, 
make sure you've got it secure on this this a matter of fact I'm going to do it now because I don't want to lose my coupler down in there either so just tear off some painters tape and paint and tape this on just to or you can use electrical tape whatever you have in your shop just to tape this on real good so you don't lose your coupler down into your water bottle if you need a coupler Okay, so now I'm going to push that on there, get a really tight fit. I'm not going to over push it, I'm just going to make sure it's on good. And then since you need to be able to screw the lid on a water bottle anyway, you're not going to be epoxying that, then you can secure it with tape. And if I were going to do this water bottle, I would probably put more tape on it than I have right now, but for right now. That's what, and that's gonna work. Okay, so with our with our cup turners, um, the spindle fits on that really nicely. There is a little bit of give that we don't want to take any chances. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a dyno dolly. And we sell these. It, uh, a dyno dolly comes with a spindle, a short spindle, and a little piece that looks like this. They come in different colors. And then, de depending on, you know, how big your bottle is, it may be a wide mount or a wide at the bottom. And this is not, uh, this is not the right size either. So depending on how big your bottle is, you need to prop it up with whatever size piece of wood. I actually have a piece of wood that I usually use, but I'll just find something that that uh, that is the right height. So you just have to play with it until you get the right height. So right now I just I just fashioned up a piece of t um, a roll of tape with some coasters and you can see that this dyno dolly, you could tape this down if you wanted is going to hold up your water bottle. So just get it nice and level and then tape this down and there you go. So that's our foam. That's how we recommend using it. Um, if you have a question about any other size tumblers that I haven't covered, I know you a lot of people use wine glasses or coffee mugs. Um, we've tried to give you some some um, options with foam that will help you do everything, but occasionally you do need the bubble wrap or the shelf liner or just some tape. So thank you very much for watching and please text or call or um, message me if you have any questions. Thank you.